And I'd, I'd like to start by reading a short statement. <clears throat> Due to irreconcilable differences of opinion and uh, a crisis of uh, moral conscience, uh, I can no longer be the face of bloke in a pub, so I'm afraid I'm leaving. Goodbye. <laughs> Hello. In response to irreconcilable differences, I am now the new face of bloke in a drinking establishment. Is it me or is it all just the same? Hello and welcome to another edition of Bloke in the Pub. This time as we hurtle towards the precipice of uh, Brexit with no deal. Today we're sponsored by Hadron's Collision. What we're going to do is we're going to review the current position with Brexit compared with where it was and where it is now. So the first position I'm going to give you is um, the Labour Party. In our manifesto, uh, we have a commitment to Brexit and representing uh, and respecting the will of the people and there will be no second referendum. Hello. We are wholly prepared to support Theresa May's deal on the basis that there is a second referendum. And now the position from the Conservative Party and from Theresa May. Brexit means Brexit and we will respect the will of the people and we will be leaving the European Union on March the 29th no matter what. Hello. We, well, we might not be leaving. Um, and what I think we should do is have a vote to see if we take no deal off the table and possibly another vote to see if there's an extension to at least June while we try and get some kind of deal. Something like that. And now the position of the European Union. What are you doing? So what does this mean for investors? What it means is continued volatility uh, of currency and stock markets as uncertainty persists pending the attainment of some kind of deal with the EU and clarity on our future for businesses here and our trading relationship with them. And the new position for investors with respect to Bre Oh, it's exactly the same. So in all seriousness, and I'll do serious face quickly, in all seriousness, uh, what does this actually mean? Um, well, we are edging closer and closer towards uh, a deal with the European Union, and there's lots of machinations going on in Parliament. There's, there's huge swathes of MPs leaving their party and forming independent parties to make a protest and uh, make a position against the position of their party, but the position of their party is constantly changing, so I'm not entirely sure what that means, except we are gravitating towards a deal and the European Union is sitting back and waiting for us to kind of decide what we want to do before they might even consider any further negotiations. The principal issue remains the backstop, which is on the Irish border, and the idea that if we crash out of the European Union uh, or we can't find a way to take our uh, trading relationship with them forward uh, after the transition in 2021, is that Northern Ireland, part of the UK, will have different rules for dealing with the EU to us to avoid a hard border. Um, there doesn't seem to be any realistic means to deal with that. The technology is not available to, to avoid a hard border at the moment uh, and that seems to be the intractable issue. Um, but we'll see if they manage to resolve that in uh, less than a month and uh, we'll speak to you then. <laughs>